Making sure there's nobody pushing it towards mid, and now they're going to work their way forward. And early paranoia. Get them off lane. Where do they go from here? A little bit of spam down through stairs. The spike ticking away. Nags playing up close for his dash. Come through, and you already see the spam coming through the smokes as well. Melser still playing from backside as a couple of members of Cloud9 have fallen. Numbers in favor of crew here. Zepp all on the other side of the smoke, only getting one. That's a round for crew. That's an excellent start. A couple of mistakes there. And if that's not enough, you have Zeppo who's got a flash close by too. But I don't know that that tagged anyone. I'm really worried here what Leaf is going to do, especially with Nax still in close mid. Trailblazer cleared. There's a the paranoia you were just referring to. Two down. That's three down. As Cloud9, I cracked the round wide open. And meanwhile, Cruz is trying to smoke off the turret to get out here while all that's going on. But when the main tip fails... We'll see how this one plays around. He's, he's out there with the spike, yeah. committing to the ult, and now the rest of crew are going to funnel through. With that lockdown, it's a really nice play to just go for it. You can get the plan a little faster. Yeah. And you also don't have to commit through the main. You can see Klaus completely droning from way far back didn't use it to get in the site he's just droning the flank when do you see this he's just trying to keep the drone alive for as long as possible delay as long as possible and i think his position here is key because he has a hunter fury if Celsius doesn't choose to invest a, a lockdown there is a counter to that so you've got to expect zeppa to be able to push and guide him off of that because he knows oh, they're pushing where coming from and yeah. there it is the timing is perfect from zeppa he read it so well melzer's now left alone in this 1v5 that's all it's gonna be. What a beautiful consideration from Zeppa there. He called it out perfectly. Things out pretty nicely. Jake's been in this position multiple times, but Crew has not actually had to face it. Oh, the secrets are so persistent. The flash on the other side of the smoke, and Jake looking to reposition, play a little bit closer, but Melzer's timing is gorgeous. It's just in time to get. The player's off. Leaf still finds a kill, though, and it, despite everything, that looks like Crew should have been advantage. No, the early pick. Down in mid from Zelsis with the Odin. Still has it. Still working his way out towards the site. He's up in heaven right now. Joined by the other two members of Cloud9. Melser playing down low. Leaf cleans him up, leaving Nax by himself. Starting to roll. They're starting to roll here. They've been rolling. That's six rounds in a row now for Cloud9. Only the pistol and the anti-eco for Crew. And it should get the spike down. They have tree control too. Davies All comes down to yeah, how well Davies can hold this. Oh, they just closed the door late. They're gonna have to spend time breaking while they're fighting and pushing a pinch. How does Leaf survive that? Kazuya takes down Zelsis. It all falls down on Aruni, a 1v2. And time is up, the essence. The dark cleared. He doesn't realize that there's somebody behind him. There's no way you consider something like that. Not in a situation like this. The bullets miss, but Klaus does not. It's B. But crew leaning A right now. Oh boy. Oh, I thought he was gonna get more. Zeppa does. He cleans it up. Down A. And so the intention there from crew is to actually use this space while there's no smoke to try to find a pick onto the two players who were on A, which is a good idea. But Cloud9 is just facing them anyways, and they net themselves a huge advantage in this round. When crew was looking to strike, this is gonna be terrible if crew lose this round. I mean, they're gonna get reset economically, they're gonna go back down. So only the 1.9k that you get. In this instance, the moment's so heavy, but they're so painfully outnumbered, and it's just gone from bad to worse. Melzer had to use his ult just to get to, just to recover the spike to get them into a decent situation, but he seems to have found a timing to be able to get the spike down. Rooney playing this a bit more safely, takes a step back, allows B to go up, knowing they're up in numbers. And he missed the silent jump there, which makes it, which forces him to just go for the plant instead. He could have maybe found a sneak attack onto Rooney. That flashback site confirming that he isn't out proper and he's got to be exactly where that molly is. Now 54 HP for the remaining member of crew. <laughs> and a shorty in the face. Cleans him up. Dust on the other side of his wall. Spots a shoulder. Not able to land the shot. Has to get away. The Hunter's Fury invested from Klaus. No tags. No, nothing at all. Seekers as well. The delay. They get the information set up. And Jake perfectly. What a cheeky spot. They invested the Trailblazer and everything because they wanted to take this fight to crew. Crew's not quite done with it yet. Despite the fact that Klaus missed every single pulse. Lockdown may be spammable if Rooney gets close enough, but Kesnit just jumps up. Quite some time finally breaking that turret. Zappa with a frenzy. They don't check this. They know now. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, 
But this is taking so much time. I mean, yeah, we've already spent like 20 seconds just getting these here. players up into B main right now. Yeah, just setting up for the fight. You're right. And he's already ready for the. I mean, Leaf is already marking out, pinging where the dart is going to land ahead. because he knows where Klaus is coming from. There it is. He missed it. Oh. Just went off the map. Time is so short right now. I don't know that crew are going to have enough time to do this. And now with Leaf still playing on site. They desperately need the pistol, and it does not go their way. Did information about the Odin on the other side of the map. There again, remember, we talked about how crew went for this pick. Same outcome, though, this time for crew. We play it online. Right click, maybe. He wants to go. Ooh. And Zeppa swings out at the same time. Once again, you're seeing dynamic peaks out from Cloud9, overwhelming the opposition. 2v2 here, Cloud9 have gotten the site. They have the spike. They are getting it planted. Spike planted. A Phantom and Odin in the hands of the defense. And the drone now out. Enemy oh no. Zappa can't get spammed here. Ooh. Ow. Just barely. Getting Still a dart ahead. for Klaus. He's looking for another target. Anyone to get lit up. He can bring the pain and punish, but leave with three. The Guardian still in play. Nags gets it to a 1v1, but Zeppa cleans it up. The two gun rounds on that defense. It's been brutal scenes. Kesna with the Guardian trying to find an early pick as Cloud9 trampled their way forward and Leaf does eventually fall. But now without Melser meeting his death either. Kerr just so far away here. Nax is still just working across the middle of the map and Kesna's left in this fight where he's having to deal with so many different targets without any help. I mean, there's a flood attempt there from Kerr. But it's splintered because of the mollies from Rooney. Finally, he falls, and they're going to try to push this lockdown. Oh, Jake. Success so far. 3v2. Cloud9 gotten it down to a 2v2 now. Zelsus is still dancing around. Not many bullets left in the clip. And it's all going to be on to Zelsus. Takes a step back. Oh. Gets pressured. Still finds find time to reload. Davies, half, pulls off. Zelsus with the Red Bull clutch. That's got to be a dagger. Watch to see that. Oh, early pick again from Leaf. Davies already dead. It's the same situation too, where he's yep. trying to throw his knife. Klaus finding a little bit of something. You see Kesna tried getting high ground over the cover. Couldn't find any value. Relying on a judge to save the game here, and it might pay off here. The rotate is coming in. It's not able to punish Lee. Finally, it goes his way, crew. But even if Nags gets, I mean, it's, oh, considered, the it's considered. The trailblazer was well done. I look at the pivot back immediately, and there's no info here for crew. Such good delay. He still has one molly. Zelsis still has two nanos and the turret. And the wall's going to come back up, too. Fuel takes a long time in this patch. But with that molly, it pushes them back, and he's probably going to activate now. And time just ticks away. Desperation for the side of crew. And a huge moment. It's going to fall down to a 1v1. Rooney is pit. Fake TP. And imagine he uses it here. Tux on the angle, waiting for the swing, and Rudy wins it out. The 3K to get Clive, Cloud9, map one. The benefit, though, of tournaments like this is that it really just comes down to who has the hot hand. Any team can catch fire and make a run, and that's what Crew's done up until this point, but they have finally met an obstacle, an opponent that seems to be able to slow them down, and it's because of things like that. They even had the nano prep for where they thought Kesnet was gonna updraft onto, and, and it was perfect. Yeah. Delays any plant too. They will finally get it down, but they've used a lot to get to this position and see if they can actually get the kills in the back of sight. Yes, they are. Well done by Nags and Melser, but they need to find more. Nags's position there is so pretty. Just tucking barely behind that corner of the wall so you can isolate the gunfights. And even before that, those initial volley of kills, the first two landed on Zeppa and Zelsis. Off. That was two key people to retake in this instance. He had the cove. That was basically their only shot. Now, Jake is... Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's <laughs> dead. You're absolutely right. A 3K for Nags as crew gets a pistol. And it was often, you know, you confirmed that there was nobody back there. They still use the dog, still use the trailblazer. Now they're not going to be able to actually scale up behind this Viper wall at this point. And that's exactly where Cloud9 are. The pop flash on the other side. All three of them are standing there, but they somehow still get every kill. That's the type of thing that Cloud9 has huge success with. And you can tell they're really confident in it. But in this instance, when they already got some key pieces of util, you should probably allow this to play slightly differently. Leaves Leaf and Rooney in a tough position. 
He's gotten it to be interesting. 45 HP though. Rooney's still close by. I suggest you move. Wow. They invest the reckoning early here. He has to dance around the pulses of the ult. The Viper utility and the bolts from Max 2 and it's just way too much to deal with. Rooney's not able to do much more. Crew win the bonus. Alert coming in here. All the way for Nax. He's close to Zelsus, but the wall is perfect. And they're gonna have to pivot. 20 seconds right now. Zelsus can do it all. Rooney still has Molly's here as well. All the delay right now. And that might be what comes. He still has Ooh. a way to get out. He still has a way to tuck to safety, reposition, live to fight another day, and that day is now, but he's not able to get a single kill. Delays for just a moment, but the spike still goes down. Klaus weak. Now Cloud9 with three members remaining have to try to take this back. Crew have assumed their post plant positions. They've gotten back sight. They have two playing there, and Klaus and Melser. How do Cloud9 get back into this? Wait out some of the utility and then decide to pounce and go, but Zeppa gets dealt with execution style. Cloud9 falls. That's a fifth round in a row for crew. This might be where the spark starts. This might be where the momentum begins. The reckoning invested from Cloud9 as it seems like crew are trying to take this site with reckoning of their own. You see them pass by one another. Old still in play. Jake trying to hold them back on his own. And Davies just clotheslines them. Really good pitch there. And again, a 20 second plant. Lockdown invested. That's Davies really not going to gain them that much, especially with this counter lockdown plays from Davies. Feels like it's just going to throw a pause on the round for a little bit. Oh, he's going to try to get half. He's going to be ahead of it here. Yeah, he gets half. It to half. He's detained now, though. They're going to definitely take him out in art. There it is. The easiest kill of Melser's life. Rooney and Zelsis. They have a cove. This cove could easily get another half here. End the round. And it seems like that's what he's oh. trying to do, but it instantly gets taken care of. You see the Nanos are all set up. Zelsus made an attempt on it. Now he's left alone. He's got a tap. He's gotten it down to one. <laughs> I thought the transfer was there, but Nax cleans it up again. So yeah, go hunt. Go see what weapons you can take out of the hands of Cloud9, who are already down, who are already beaten. Perhaps you can put him six feet under. What can Cloud9 do? I mean, this is so desperate. They need to preserve these weapons. One has already fallen. That's the second. It's all under Jake now, and he's got the big one. Can he stay alive? Can he keep the up? Position given away. Feeling some pressure. Melser up high, and the up is down. But look, the high tech segments, everything off sewers. And flowers as well. Do they have a follow-up cascade? Yes, they do. They're not using it. Looking for picks instead on secret. Bloody death. One player currently posted up a dugout. The spike has been planted. Rooney playing around with the Sheriff. There's just so much to look at here. There's so much utility. You see the code. Rooney doesn't even get a chance to fire the weapon. Again, indicative about how, of how dominant of a performance it's been by crew. Leaf at least keeping a flawless away, but Kesnit, I mean, all of crew have awoken. Instead, it's looking incredibly well drilled. Even the reaction there. And there's a first pick. It's interesting too, this cascade is so deep. The one that Zelsus just used and they filled behind it. Doug, I have to say it at this point. <laughs> we are approaching the territory where this is going to be a 13-0 for crew. Maybe a flawless half. Locktown's gone out. The crowd is asking for the 13-0. It certainly has all the makings of it. This will inevitably be the route. No, never mind. <laughs> never mind. There's time here. They're not going to be able to punish Leaf at all, but he gets stunned up with this too. Time running down. Two back there. You see the first Leaf has knives. Oh, what a flash. Flash out from Klaus. They're both oh. right next to each other. Leaf getting one with the blades. The second not falling. And that's 12 for crew. They're gonna get a flank off on Cloud9 right now. The players are rotating over towards A while the one Harbor is investigating what's going on on B. He hears him now running back. Melzer gets a free kill here. Unless Jake does something about it, he does. Problem is, it's not Nags. Final boss is still up. Look at the aggressive position that they've taken. Again, two members down for Cloud9, just like that. The time is ticking though. They got it clear. Oh, flash up. Dude, what on earth did we just watch? 
And somehow it's a 3v2. Kesna gets it. 3v1 Leaf to hold off the 13 0. To avoid being on the wrong side of history, he's gotten into a 1v1. 15 HP left. There's no time right now for Klaus. He has Klaus to make has a play. To, he's got to push it. Oh, he decides to go back. He decides to go back, and Leaf's just playing with him. Can he get the kill? Oh, 13. Oh, avoided. And the Red Bull clutch for Leaf. <laughs> You see Kesnit already getting pushed off at that angle. Yeah, Flash gives weird information though. And this is what... Wyatt, Sean, everybody was talking about... Baby Bay talking about how you don't want to give time for Kesnit to actually heat up. He's going for more, that's a little overcooked, but... It looked like he was just going for the jugular there. Well, that Molly actually prevents Leaf from following up! What is that shot? Maybe Melcer. it's Leaf who's got to heat up. Like hey, Melcer just walked into the Molly too. Tried to... Play with a really small timing window. Toxins going up. 3v3. All members of crew are healthy, except for Klaus. Now he's dead. And an early reckoning. Jake is very weak here, just 19 HP, and the spike ticks away. Dave, he's trying to keep them back. You see Nags is repositioned. He's going to try to get an angle up on Heaven. But there are two members from Cloud9 back site. There's really nothing he can do from that angle. So through all of that time that was invested in him repositioning it all, so it's all for naught. It's a save. Otherwise, it just gets free information that nothing is happening. And right. I do like what crew did there to try to disrupt some sort of plan here. Showblazer checks on Leaf. No pressure down below. Nice. Quite oh, what a swing. And that is, I mean, you just took down the most important player. What a play from Nags. And the confidence to go for that is crazy high. I mean, after the first I've half that he had. Trail. I don't know that I blame him. Yeah, he's been quiet the last four rounds, but. Both Seekers popped right now. And a lot of them went towards that A side, but they were very close to it. So I don't think you expect many more. Meanwhile, the Seeker is coming all the way towards this B side for Crew from Klaus. I mean, even the timing on Crew's utility here, Melser gets the, the high tied up right before the Viper wall goes down. So there's no gap in coverage. But like now Cloud9 using some of their own. I like this from Zelsus, a very shallow wall so that he could potentially get this plant down with 25 seconds is really important. Cove can be used. Followed up high Cascade as well, so they could push backside. And the plan in an unconventional position, Melser, looking to get the second, somehow does. This might be it. This is it. Yeah, they finally put them away. All you got to do is take down one singular leaf. Oh. All right. Rooney made it exciting at the end there, but a little labored. Crew finally take down Cloud9 on Pearl. Normally you see Viper Harbor being played, but instead, Jake's still sticking with his omen. Insta B hit here from Crew. And once again, it's going to be a full 5v5 retake that you're seeing fast from Cloud9 oh. here. The Trailblazer comes in the Paranoia as well. They could easily start to tap this early. I didn't think they were going to commit to this, but they flash out. They want to take the fight. They're going to push out mid. Holy smokes, Jake. He's midair. That was gross. And they're sticking. No, they're sticking. What? And what? it's another 1v3 from Leaf on the pistol, too. <laughs> and that's going to raise the alarm. Snags turning around, waiting for Leaf. Cleans him up. And are you expecting to? Because right now, Jake is in a really good position to make a play. Spike planted. Just trying to bait him in there. Look at this. They're both out right now. Backside. Jake does a great job just waiting for that pushback up from Nags. And you expect him to try to be pacey in that situation, but it's going to be all on Jake to clean this up by himself. A flash in his face. The turn is there. And three swing. He only takes down one. His crew get on the board. Even You want to go be in there. We're going to push into some of this utility. There you see the Seekers that were just cleared out. Kesnit takes a high ground. And maybe, yeah, they use Elsis's lockdown for an attempt at a retake here. This might be nadable here, but no, Kesnit's going to get off. And he has the showstopper to get back in this. Two stars already on the spike. They've got mollies as well. Leaf has dashed his way forward so aggressively. There it is. Showstopper on. Is it going to connect? It does. On to Zeppa. 5v3 in favor of crew. Consistently hitting those where others are missing. Leaf having to make a big play here, and they're going to swing it to four. They've got the smoke to cover one side, and they've cleaned them up. But Crew with the counter punch, leaving Rooney alone, and he falls as well. Out of the timeout, Crew win another round. Right. 
are gonna push her way into B once again, and you see the Sentinels. The plan is still the same, but this time, Zelsa seems to be able to hold them back. The spike sitting on the other side of the wall, on the other side of the smoke. Here. A little bit of an error there from Crew, thinking that they can get through with that boom bot, but instead, they didn't really consider the change that this makes once this Viper wall has been shifted over here. This is brutal. There are no flashes to pop out of. There's no, there's no nothing. You just have to take this drive and you're done. There's no way through that. This Viper wall is going to be really key going forward on this. This is crazy. You never expect this. He might have made noise, though. Even if he did, it doesn't matter. Klaus, though, clean. Hello? Oh, oh, hello? So oh, my goodness. Dead. He's so stuck. <laughs> Klaus with two big kills there. Now Seekers used the 3v3 here. Spike does manage to go down. How did Cloud9 burst their way back into this? You have Zelsus, seems to be the tip of the spear. He's made a couple of big plays so far. Kazna with the satchel. Zelsus is dead. Just two remain, and it quickly turns into one. Rooney in a 1v3. Kazna and Klaus both weak. There's still so much to do here for Rooney. For the Viper, who's weak himself. No one dare challenge. No one dare swing. There's the first waiting for it. Klaus gets a 4K to get crew to six. Being able to get back in towards this beat and hit the post plant fast. This They've is got to hold on to it. This is the pistol once again. The paranoia from Jake. He's still well, getting damage. Up. Two HP from the show. This, this is really nice pressure out from Cloud9, though, as they try to take Garage, try to pinch in and corral what crew have. Yeah, that turret was normally watching and they've broken it. Which means that flank is available. That avenue is available. Davies against Leaf. Stop this close is going to be a problem, but the shorty is not. They've kept it competitive, they've kept it interesting, and they still have a shot in this round. And they're gonna be pushing in towards C where really nobody is. That was the only one who's close by, and he has two HP. And those mollies, that alarm bot, that turret, everything is disabled right now. Zelsus is already dead. Rooney has the pit, but he's really not in a position to make a play with it. No, absolutely not. And crew has been focused on playing on sites when it comes to the C post plant. Right, they're both down already. Rooney swings out. And he's done. An 8-4 half for Crew. The fact that there's two Sentinels on the side of Crew right now. Well, you see the trap set up already. Look at that. They grab well. And there are four who are pinching in. And they're just on the other side of the smoke. Denies it, yeah. I mean, they're going to walk up into there's, two. There's no pop flash on the other side of it. There's no nothing. They just take the fight. That's and of course, it's two controllers who walk away with two kills. Oh, Zappa, those frenzies for him, man. It's always getting one. How does Kesnit still get another there? And Davies was just locking down the rest of the map, by the way. Just the KJ Util on B, and then Davies on C. Everybody else towards the safe side. And somehow, someway, Cloud9, despite losing the first two, come out on top, and the dog spots him. Yeah, I thought there may have been a window there for Davies to tuck up into stairs and avoid the Trailblazer, but he gets spotted, and then the flash in his face, too. And then you're going to have to face two players from crew. And the frenzy of Zeppa just doesn't lose in these corners too no. up close. Yeah. Although that is an ominous thing to say. It does not. It was Rooney who cleaned him up. He gets four on the round to get Cloud9 the pistol. He's peeking off the turret and he has his TP to actually get out. So can go for one early kill. He's covered his flanks. He gets the early kill. Doesn't instantly teleport out. He's still playing around this. Now playing outside of his tether. Jake dead, and Melser's causing problems from Platt. And look, the trademark actually finds value, too. Okay. Huge round out from Melser. We finally see a straight-up execute and fight here from Cloud9, and it gets absolutely demolished by Crew. I mean, no. Oh, this has the potential for danger once more, but Nags does eventually take one. You see this ping-ponging of kills back and forth. your trail. It's just crazy. Zeppa pops the Seekers, though. Kesnet has an opportunity to maybe try to get okay. through it. He has Showstopper. He has two satchels. And he delays the plant for just a moment. But what can Zeppa do? Oh, gosh. His timing here is huge. Gets one kill. Still one more to be found. Davies up close with the op. You got the stun. He's been spotted. Switches over. Much more of a mid-range weapon. Still has so much to do before him. The alarm bot going to get his position. Oh, and a double They've been thrown into disarray, and Melser with position to put him away. Spike on the ground, a 5v3. Crew in a position to pull off what everyone thought was unthinkable. What everyone thought was impossible. It should have been. The first few series, sure. Against a weak MIBR. 
Why not? But against Cloud9. Here. An outrageous possibility, but Jay can snatch them back and he can do it on his own. He gets two there. Zelsus just with another counter. Now Pit invested. Bit of room for Rooney to work. Maybe Nax can make a play. Of course, it's going to be Nax. He's gotten it down to a 2v2. It's still up. Nags with another. No way. The lockdown going to be invested. Rooney has to push this. He's got to go. Well considered by Nags. The tuck though clears it out. There's the swing. He's gotten it down to 1v1. Oh, no. Where's Davies? Just on the other side. And he delivers the 